Hi, my name is James Barlidge. I'm the host of Going Hard in the Paint. This is my channel, and you're here with me right now today. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain the collars that I use and how these collars are like perfect, the, the perfect layout for a beginner or a new painter. So I'm gonna go through and, and kind of explain what they are and uh, yeah. Let's do it. So this right here is titanium white. And titanium white is like the whitest mixture known to mankind. The only thing whiter in this world than titanium white is uh, Southern Ohio trailer parks, um, guys that wear socks with Crocs, and people named Eugene. That's the only thing whiter than titanium white. Next up is Prussian blue. I, I love Prussian blue. It's got like a, a red kind of hue to it. Um, and but you want to be real careful putting too much of this in your mixtures or it'll turn bluer than a 1950s country song next up is ivory black i like using ivory black if if you want you can use midnight black or any of those i personally don't like it because midnight black doesn't gray things it turns it purple and i want a black that grays things so that's why i use ivory black Side note, I used to think it was weird that they called it ivory black because ivory is white and this is like black as can be. But actually, um, the reason it's called ivory black is because it is made from burnt and charred elephant tusks back in the day. That, that's how they got the pigment for this color was burnt and charred elephant tusks. So the more you know. Next up, we have burnt umber. I'm pretty sure that umber is a fancy word for brown. Um, just kidding, it, it's an earth tone color. Um, I, I like this personally. I know that some people use Van Dyke brown. Van Dyke brown is, is a lot darker than that, but if I want a dark brown, I just mix black and brown and, and I get it. So, and starting out too, it, it uncomplicates things to have just, you know, more of a limited palette than putting 14, 15, 16 colors on here and trying to navigate. Next up, I have sap green. Um, you know, perfect, perfect for some greenage action up on your canvas. Next up, I got cad yellow. It's uh, actually, I think I use cad yellow medium, um, you know, cad yellow medium, cad yellow light, lemon yellow, Hansa yellow, Hansa yellow light, any, any of those will do, but that's what I use. Next up I got yellow ochre. Um, yeah, once again, it's a, it's a natural earth, earth tone, just like the burnt umber is, so. That's a nice yellow. I, I like that. Um, this is probably my favorite yellow out of all the yellows, even though it looks more orange. This here uh, is India yellow or Indian yellow. This one is from Gamblin, so it's called India yellow. But a cool fact about India yellow is that the original pigment for India yellow or Indian yellow was made from the urine of cows fed nothing but mango leaves and it turned their pee a dark dark yellow orange color and they would dry that out mix it with linseed oil and get um india india yellow smells like pig to me and then next up, I got naphthol red, naphthol red, naphthol red, naphthol red, Nap naphthol. It's red. Um, it's 
The reason I use this, honestly, instead of Cad Red, is because I use Gamblin paints and mediums. And in the Gamblin brand, their cadmiums are true cadmiums. They're not used, they're actually made from that stuff. And they're a lot more expensive. So this uh, per tube is about five, about four or five dollars cheaper for the for the 150 mil tubes. So that's why I use naphtha red. Um, I still use the the cad yellow because I've tried some of the other yellows and I personally don't like them. Uh, I can tell a difference in the way I paint and you know the way I paint's going to be different from the from the way you paint but basically you know if you have a good white which titanium white is probably the most used white paint amongst artists because zinc white over time cracks a blue color if you want to use thalo blue use thalo blue I like Prussian blue right now I do use thalo blue sometimes um, on if I'm painting like black canvases I have a different palette set up for that and the next time I do a black canvas I will show you my palette for that and it'll be on my channel so be sure to come back baby come back see see when I have that video you're you're gonna love it I'll have more interesting pigment facts but as long as you have a white a blue black brown green at least one yellow but you know yellow ochre is awesome so I have three yellows but if you have cad yellow yellow ochre and a red you can paint anything any any kind of landscape even um, human skin tones and, and stuff like that you can paint anything with these colors I, I just recently added Indian India yellow back into my palette because I have a tube of it and I need to use it and I like to Play around with it so yeah um, I hope my chin wasn't hitting this mic too much it's the first time I'm trying the new mic here so I got it plugged into the GoPro action I'm getting ready to paint this canvas still don't know what I'm gonna paint still haven't decided if I'm gonna make it into a video for you guys and me but um, yeah I appreciate it hey I want to ask you right now please continue to to help me out by liking and subscribing and you know if, if you want to share my videos comment if you comment I promise I will comment back so that will be cool um, you can check me out on Facebook Instagram Instagram is instagram.com slash James Barlidge facebook.com slash James Barlidge Studios if you just put slash James Barlidge it's going to come to my personal page but hey add me I, I think I've only got a couple thousand people on there if I get filled up there's some people I went to school with that I will straight delete to add you guys so I love you guys thanks for being here with me get some paints man try it out try it out I will also cover uh, what medium I use and how I go about putting that on the canvas, which I did in a video before, but I'll go in more detail. So I love you guys. Thanks. Like, subscribe, click the bell.